The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has today decided to award the Nobel Prize in Chemistry with one half to Francis H. Arnold. I had been invited to give a nice lecture scheduled for October 3rd. So the night before I flew into Dallas, I was soundly asleep when the telephone rang. So I said, hmm, better answer this. <laughs> and it was the Nobel Prize Committee. I wanted to go home. I wanted to share this news with my students. I wanted to share it with my family. I wanted to share it with Caltech because I knew that there would be the press conference right away. I finally reached one of my sons a couple hours after. I said, well, <laughs> you know, I got some news. He said, wow, and immediately drove over to my house where my other son was sound asleep and not answering his phone. James came and woke you up. <laughs> That was great. So Joe called me and I was able to talk to Joe. We rode into campus. My whole group was there outside of Spalding with a wonderful poster that they had made for me. But they, a lot of them were wearing their Arnold Lab t-shirts, exploring the non-natural world. I have the most marvelous team. They come here to Caltech to be inspired about science, to learn how to do science at the highest levels, and to find something that they can be excited about all the time. I, I like them very much, and it was wonderful to see their smiling faces. Because they were, they were almost as excited as I was. <laughs> we went to the division office. I think it's the first time since Linus Pauling's 90th birthday that we actually got a photo of the entire division. That was fun and plus everybody was smiling. I wanted to be with my boys. You know. These things you want to share. It's, it's not all about you, right? It's all about everybody you've ever worked with. It's about your students, it's about your family, it's about you know all those people who had to pay some prices and you wanted to share with those and now Caltech's first female Nobel laureate. I never knew how lucky I was until I actually got here and was inspired by people who think big and solve big, hard, hairy problems. That fearlessness is just part of what Caltech is. We take young people and teach them that they can do science and they can dream great things, and it's been so wonderful to be here and be inspired by my older colleagues, but also by my young colleagues. So I want to thank my young colleagues, the members of my research group who are scattered around this room, because this is really about them. I didn't do any of these experiments. Maybe back in the 90s I did, but most of my experiments from the 90s are sitting in the front row here. <laughs> You have to find your own path, and people from very different backgrounds and different experiences can achieve pretty spectacular things. I've seen that many times here at Caltech.